the bootloader. It's one of the things that makes the Arduino so great, but it comes with a sacrifice. It has almost a two seconds boot time, meaning it takes your Arduino almost two seconds to start up and run your sketch with a bootloader. When prototyping and tinkering, this delay is usually not a problem. Most finished products is not affected too much by it. But every now and then, you're going to come across a project that requires your Arduino to start up instantly and start handling your sketch. Let's say you're building a battery operated door sensor or a mailbox alert. When a door or your mailbox is open, you want to send a signal at 433 MHz alerting you. By removing the bootloader, your Arduino can start up and send the signal within just a half a second. This is fast enough, so you'll catch just about every single open. This way, your device will only power up when needed. Thus, it can run on batteries for years. Have a look at these two Arduino Uno compatible boards. The first one takes almost two seconds before it turns on the LED. The other one turns on the LED instantly when I release the reset button. They're both running the exact same scripts. The best part is, as long as you have two Arduinos, you can use one to program the other without the bootloader. So, if you have one Uno and a Nano, or a Pro Mini, or two Unos, you have all you need. To do this, we must first set up one Arduino to be the programmer. Connect the board that you like to be the programmer to your computer as usual. I'm going to use an Arduino Uno. In the Arduino IDE, go to File, Examples, Arduino ISP. Then go to Tools and make sure you have selected the correct board under Board and make sure you have selected the correct port as well. And just hit Upload. After a few seconds, it says Done Uploading. The device is now the programmer. Disconnected from your computer. Now select the device that is going to be programmed without a bootloader. This is going to be your target device. In my case, it's also going to be an Arduino Uno. Use some DuPont wires to connect the target to the programmer as described here. Connect pin 13 to pin 13, pin 12 to 12, pin 11 to 11, pin 10, you connect to reset, and then connect 5 volt to VCC and ground to ground. Reconnect your programmer to the computer. In the Arduino IDE, open the sketch that you want to upload to your target device. Then go to Tools. Make sure you now select the board that you're going to program, aka the target. Select the right port and go to the programmer and select Arduino as ISP. Go to Sketch and select Upload using Programmer. After a few seconds, the uploading is done. The target device is now running your sketch, but without the bootloader, making it start much faster after a reset or a power on. It's that easy. If you want the bootloader back, just simply wire the device up again as described previously and go to Tools, select the target board and choose Burn Bootloader. Now the bootloader is back and you can program the Arduino as before. But remember, the boot time is also back again. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.